Good morning, guys. All right, we are ready for Saxon Phonics Lesson 86. So let's see what we're going to learn about today. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to warm up with our alphabet, but we're going to try to put our alphabet in order. So we're going to alphabetize it. So we're going to flip to the next slide and we're going to put all the letters in order. All right, here we go. So we know in our alphabet we have how many letters? 26 letters, that's right. And we have our five vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and then remember, sometimes Y. And then the rest are called consonants. So our initial letter in the alphabet is... A, remember initial means beginning, that's right. So we're gonna start with the letter A. What letter comes next? B, very good. Now, I want you to look at these two letters. One of them is B and one of them is D. So we remember that B is facing, its bubble is facing to the right. It looks like it's going forward. D's bubble is facing backwards. We can always say, don't do that, D. So this must be our lowercase B. Okay, what comes after B? C, good job, then D, perfect, then E, good job, then F, good job, and then G, what comes after G? H, perfect, then I, that's right, I, there's our I, I, and then J, I, J, K, very good. Then L, what comes directly after L? M, good job. Then N, after N, M, N, O, P, good job, after P. Q, perfect, then R, then S, then T, and U, V, good job, W, then X, and Y, and then our final letter is Z. Good job. All right, so we have all of our letters in ABC order. Let's say them one time. Remember, we're going to say them, not sing them. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. All right, awesome job putting our letters in ABC order. All right, so we have our letter cards, so we're gonna go ahead and go through and name these cards. So why don't we start right up at the top and we say, Digraph T H, combination U R, Digraph E E. Combination E R trigraph I G H. Here it's got the dot, so vowel Y. A consonant E. Final syllable T L E. Digraph A Y. Final syllable P L E. U consonant E. E consonant E. Final syllable D L E. Digraph O W, O consonant E, combination O R, combination I R, combination A R, digraph A I, A consonant E, final syllable G L E, combination Q U, final syllable B L E Digraph C H Y Q V Final syllable F L E Very good. All right, now we have our letter sound cards. I remember we added some new ones. Let's see what we added. We've got she E Digraph E E Cheese Ch 
digraph ch, rain a, digraph ai, staple cool, final syllable p l e, bugle goal, final syllable g l e, hey a, digraph ay, very good. Then we have yarn y. Y, horse, or combination, O, R, bird, er, combination, I, R, butter, er, combination, E, R. Remember, this one's the tricky one. This is what we talked about last week. Remember, it's got that upside down E. So we say banana, uh. And we have schwa a very good. Then we have turtle er combination u r cube u u consonant e wagon w w thimble digraph t h dime i i consonant e shark sh Digraph SH, bow, O, digraph OW, light, I, trigraph IGH, circle, S. We say sedilla, C, soft, C, candle, dull, final syllable, D, L, E, fox, Bubble, bull, final syllable, B, L, E, hook, U, uh. digraph, O, O, cry, I, vowel, Y, star, R, combination, A, R, tooth, U, digraph, O, O, elephant, E, E, Quilt, qu, combination, q, u, candy, e, vowel, y. Very good. All right, so you're going to echo the words I say and listen for the sound that's the same in each word. Are you ready? So we've got eel, p, each, eat, b, een. Let's listen one more time. S il p each eat b een. What do you hear? That's right, we hear that long e sound. So let's look at these words and try to figure out what letters do you think make that sound. I've got s il p each b een. What letters do you think are making that sound? That's right, the E-A makes the long E sound. Since E-A is two letters that makes one sound, we call it a digraph, so remember? And so how do we code digraphs? All of our digraphs have what underneath it? We underline them, that's right. So look, we'll underline the E-A, and since it says a long E, the E has the macron on top, and the A is marked off because we don't hear the A at all. It covers up that sound. Same thing in peach. E-A is underlined, E is long, the A is marked off. E-A is underlined, the E is long, and the A is marked off. All right, when you see this letter card, you're gonna say digraph E-A. So we have digraph E-A. The sound card that we're going to use for E-A that makes the long E sound is la e -f. So you can hear it in the middle, la e -f. So when we see this one, we're going to say leaf E, digraph E-A. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make some words with that E-A digraph. All right, here we go. So the first word we're going to make is I'm going to put a T in front of it, and then I'm going to put an R at the end of it, and I have Ear, T, 
tear. Now this one sounds a little bit different and what it is is because it has that bossy R at the end. That bossy R makes the R sound kind of more distinct than some of the others. So t ear, tear. What if I wanted to change just the beginning sound to a P? Now I have peer, very good. This is like peer, like the fruit. What if I change it to an F? Fear, good job. And then what if I change it to an H? Here, perfect. All right, we're gonna make it a little bit trickier. I'm gonna add a T to the end, and what word is that? Eat, very good, eat. Now, if I put an N at the beginning of that word, I have neat, good job. What about if I put an M at the beginning? Meat, good job. How about an S? E. Perfect. All right, we're gonna try to make it a little bit trickier, okay? Let's put an H up there. Heat, perfect. And then what if I pull a blend up? PL blend, which says pull, so pull eat, leet. Good job. All right, let's try one more. What if I put an R in front of, front of it and a P at the end? I've got R, E, reap. Very good. Change that beginning sound to an H, and now I've got heap. Good job. What if I add the C to make it that CH digraph in it? Now I have two digraphs. I have sheep. Good job. All right, and one more. Make a silly one. Are you ready? What if I put a T in front of it? Then it teep. Teep. Good job. All right, you guys did an awesome job making words today. All right, guys, so here are our letter name cards now. And as you can tell, today we added this card right in the middle, and we say digraph EA. Very good. And on our sound cards, do you see where it's at? We added digraph EE, but remember we say leaf E, digraph EA. Very good. All right, we're going to go ahead and code some words with that new vowel digraph. Get ready to code some words today, okay? So if I look at my first word, what do you notice about it? Remember, I always check the end first. That's right, it's got that Y. Remember, sometimes Y can be a vowel and sometimes it can be a suffix. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just box it off for right now and see how we're gonna use it because I need to figure out this part of the word to see if it's a suffix that goes together with that or if it's gonna be something different, okay? So now if I look at the rest of the word, what do you notice? Well, I've got a U, it's in front of an N, so it's gonna be short. And then I've got that double consonant. So what do I do to a double consonant? I gotta cross one of the ends out, that's right. So now, look at this word. You know that word, fun. Fun, and then it's a Y, but remember when Y is used as a suffix, it's, it's almost always says E, so fun, E. Funny, very good. All right, let's look over here. Now this is a longer word. This is actually a compound word, so what we have to do first is we have to figure out where I'm gonna divide it up between the words. Well, when I look and I see this part of the word, I know this. I've got that O-O and R -oom, room. This is a word by itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide it up right there. So now I can look at my first word and where's my vowel? It's a U, very good. It's in front of an N. Very good, it's in front of an N. So it's gonna be short because it's in front of a consonant. All right, so now I have all right, so now I have. Do you see anything else short I need to code U. on that side? Do you see anything else I need to code on that side? But does it has that digraph pH? So I need to underline it. So I know that it makes one sound. So I know, that it, sound, so I know okay. that it makes one sound. So now sound, I have. Okay. La, so now I have. Lunch. La, la, lunch. Very good. And then over here I have. Lunch. lunch very good. Ooh, and then over here I have. Room. Boom. So funny. Room. Lunchroom. So funny. Very good. Lunchroom. All right. So this Very is going to be one right, so big part of the sentence. So it's going to go all together. So it's going to go all together. My first word. What do you my notice about it? Word, what do you notice about it? Remember, we always check the end. 
Remember, we always check the end. That's right. I got final right. syllable. Got final P syllable. P so I'm going to put my bracket up so it's so like having a wall. Up, so it's like and then what else do I always have to do to the final syllable? what else do I always have to do to the final syllable? I have to cross off that E because it's silent. We don't hear the E. Because it's silent. We don't hear the E. Then over here, this is just like having a And over here, this is just like having a C. And I know in CVC words, my vowels are always short. They have a consonant behind them. So that A is behind them. So that A is sure. going to be So now I just have the word. So now Sam. I just have the word. Sam. 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 And put it together. Sample. Very good. Right Sam. here. Very good. What do right we know here. about this word? Can I code this word? What do we know about this word? Can I code no, this word? No, it's one of our sight words. If I no, coded it's one it, of it wouldn't make words. sense. If I coded it, actually, it wouldn't make sense. Remember, it's a rule breaker. Remember, of. it's a rule breaker. When you hear of, listen. Of. of. When you hear of, listen. It sounds like a of. U and a V. It sounds like a so U and a V. So it does not follow a rule. So remember, I'm just going to circle it because I know it's a sight word. I can't code it because it doesn't make sense if I code it. because it doesn't make sense if I code it. So sample of. So sample of. We have something that we learned about today. We have something that we learned about today. We have the E A digraph. E -A digraph E A. So I'm going to underline it. E and what did we learn about digraph E A? And what did we learn about digraph E A? That's right. It says E. That's right. It so says I need e. to make it a so long. I need to make and it then a I'm going to cross e. off the A because we don't hear it. So the A because we don't hear it. So T. So sample of T. So sample of And then what about this word? And then what about this? This is word? another rule breaker, isn't it? This is another word. rule breaker. You can't code it's it because it's the word code it from. And listen word. to from. Fr from. Um, and listen to from. Fr it doesn't um, follow the rules for us to code. It doesn't so follow the rules for us to code. So from. Sample of and then right here. From. I have a clue right about here. this word. I have right a clue here. about this word. It's got a capital right letter at the end. It's got a capital beginning. letter at the end. So when we see a capital letter, we know it can only be for a few things, right? It goes at the beginning of a sentence. It goes at the beginning of a sentence. But if it's in the middle of a sentence, that means it's a proper noun. So it's a, a proper noun. Something. So it's a so name sample of, of something. Tea from, so sample of tea from. That CH is going to go together. That CH is going to go okay. together. And then, okay. where, and are then where are my vowels? I've got an I. I've got and an I've got I, an A with a consonant in between it. And remember, that was that pattern that we worked on last that was that pattern that Vowel, consonant, vowel. Vowel, okay, when I have that vowel, vowel consonant, okay, vowel, remember, I'm going to break it apart after that first vowel normally. First vowel okay. normally. So now I have okay. so now and then I, I have, have an I, but remember that and then I have that when we break it apart, that's like a wall. So we're acting that's like, like, like the rest of the words so not there right now because we're focusing just on that right syllable. Now we're focusing so just if I have an I at the end and it doesn't have anything behind it because it's the end of the syllable, then it's going to be open and it's going to be long. So I need to put that long. So I need to put that long. So chai is my first syllable. Now over here. Now I've got I've got a consonant A, and then I've got an A behind a, it. And I've got so the A, a looks like it. it's going to be so open. Let's, like try it with a long a and Let's try it happens. with a long A and Chine see what happens. Chine. 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 Does that sound right? Chine. Does that sound right? No. This no. is one of those schwa symbols. Remember, schwa, where it makes a sound symbols. that we're not Remember used to. Where it makes a sound that we're not so used I'm going to put that upside down E on it to tell me that that A, just like in banana, is going to make an uh Now listen. Now listen. China. China is talking about the country of China. All right. We're going to go ahead and connect to Seesaw so that we can do our activity sheet. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get started on our activity sheet. And remember, today we talked about vowel digraph EA. And we learned that vowel digraph EA can say E like in leaf. So that means that, that the E is long and the A is silent. You can see the E has the macron and the A is crossed out at the top. So let's start with some spelling sounds real quick. So if I say the A sound, how can I spell the A sound? So A consonant E is how we make the A sound, comma A, and then ending AY. Remember, if we hear A at the end of the word, it's usually AY. Okay, what about the S sound? This one's confusing. S we know that S can be S, and it can also be what? We learned this a couple weeks ago. C, very good. And then ending at the end, this is where it gets tricky. We can have SS, remember if it's behind a short vowel. We can have CE if it's behind a long vowel like ice or nice, or we can have SE behind everything else. All right, what about the R sound, R? 
If I hear the R sound like a pirate, what do I write down? A R, very good. What about O, the long O sound? That's right, it can be O consonant E, it can be O, but it can also be what sound at the ending that we learned about now? O W, that's right. Remember, if we hear O at the end of words, it's usually gonna be O W because we don't wanna leave that O out there by itself. What about E, the long E sound? Well, in the middle of a word, it can be E E, it can be E, and then at the ending, it can be E E, or what's the other letter? It can be Y. Remember that vowel Y makes the E sound, especially in two-syllable words like candy, handy. It sounds like E. Okay, what about the U sound? U. U consonant E and U. We haven't learned any sounds for U at the end of words yet. What about, this is kind of tricky too, the uh sound, uh. When we hear uh, we think of the letter U, but sometimes it can be what? Like in banana, it can actually be that A, but most of the time it's gonna be U. Remember, that's called a schwa sound. All right, what about ch, 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 like cheese? C-H, very good. How about or? Or, that's right, O-R, like in the word horse. And then listen carefully to this one, qua, qua. Remember, when you want to spell the qua sound, you need to put Q and U. That Q needs that U behind it. Very good. All right, we're going to go ahead and try to spell some whole words now. So if I want to spell the word open, let's hear what we hear on open. O. Very good, O, and then P, P, P then E, 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 and then N, N. Good job. All right, what about even? What do I hear in even? E, it's just the E, very good. That one kind of gives it away. V, 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 and then E, V, E, E, N, N. Open, even, very good. All right, on number 13, we're going to try to spell the word eat. So what do we hear first in eat? E. We hear the E, and then listen to the N, eat. T, and we hear the T. But if I write it just like this, then that E is going to be short, and it's going to say et. So I know there has to be another letter to make that E long. So when we write E, it's going to be E A, so it'll make it a long E, and it'd say eat. Very good. All right, let's try each. Each. What do you hear first? E. That's right. You hear that long E, but then listen, each. Ch. And digraph C H. But if I write it like this, remember that E was going to be short because it's by itself, and it'd say etch, etch. That's not what we want. We want it to say a long E. So what letter do you think it's going to be? It's going to be that E-A to make sure it says that long E. So each. How about reading? Reading. I hear er, R, then E. Long E again. Very good. Read. D. Very good. And then ing. What makes that ing suffix? I-N-G. Very good. Now look, though, if I write it just like this, it would say R-E-D -E is red, reading. That's not what we want. We want it to say E. So we want to make sure we add that A in there to make it a long E sound. Reading. All right. So let's go ahead and code these first couple words. What do you see in the first word? All right. We have that digraph E-A. So we need to underline that digraph E-A. And we know that the E is going to be long and the a is going to be short. So let's try to sound that out now. L eve. Leave. Now listen, leave. Do you hear that e? No, when we have an e after the v, we're never going to hear it. We always cross it out. Leave. So even though there's 1 2 3 4 5 letters, we only hear 3 of those letters in that word. Okay, let's try the next one. What do you see? 
It's got EA too, so I'm going to underline it. I'm going to long E, sneaky A, so I'm going to cross it out. So that DR member says dur, dur, eem, dream. And I can already tell that's going to match the picture because you can see her dreaming. All right, and the next word. Remember, we always check, check the end of the word first. It's got suffix ly on there, so I need to box off the ly. And then what else do it, does, it, does it have? It has EA, so underline the EA. The E is long and the A is silent. So, Y, ear, year, and then add the LY, which says Lee, yearly. All right, in the next one, what do you see? Mm, be careful at the end. That's right, it's got N E S S, suffix N E S S, or you can say suffix Ness. So, I don't even have to read this part of the words, I already know that that's going to say Ness. And then over here, what do you see? It's got the E-A again, so long E, sneaky A, so w-eek, weakness, weakness. And then our last one, what do you see? Hmm. Well, it's got an E-A, so I know it's going to be an E, sneaky A. And then I want you to look. What else does it have? It's got a U that's in front of an M, so it's gonna be short. And this is actually a compound word. So we're gonna to try to figure out where we're gonna break it up for the compound word. Right here I have ear, ear. So you can actually break it apart right after that. And then you have dr um, drum, so ear drum. So let's read those one more time. Leave, dream, yearly, weakness, and ear drum. All right, the words at the bottom, what do we see? Oh, I've got that Y at the end, and I've got a double consonant in front of it. So let me go ahead and box it off because I think it might be a suffix. So then let's look at my vowel. My vowel is O. It's going to be short because it's in front of a G, and then I can cross off one of those Gs. So then I can say fog. Is fog a word by itself? Yes, and then when I add that Y, remember that tells me like how much of something or how. So fog E. Does foggy make sense? Yes. How about the next word? What do you see? Ooh, I see that I need to find my vowels. I've got a vowel here and a vowel here and a consonant in between it. And remember, when I had that vowel consonant vowel pattern, I'm going to break it apart after that first consonant. So then look at my first syllable. I just have T-I. So that I is in front of that wall, so it's like there's nothing behind it. So that syllable is going to be open. It's going to have a long vowel sound because it doesn't have a consonant behind it. And then in my last syllable, I've got that ER that I need to hook together. So now I can say T, I, tie, and then G, er, ger, tiger. So foggy and tiger. Well, I already see that I can match the picture. All right, we're just going to try one more and leave off the last two. What do you see in the next word? This should be easy. I've got an E in front of an S, so it's going to be short. I've got two S's, so remember that double consonant. I can drop one, so M, S, mess. And we'll go ahead and cross off the last. So foggy, tiger, and mess. All right, on the back, I'm just going to read with you the, the words at the top. And then we're going to go back and remember, practice finding information in what we read. So I'm going to underline the sight words in here. My friend cleans, cleans for a dentist. She sweeps, sweeps the green, green carpet and dust the chairs, chairs. Once she stepped stepped on a t -ooth, tooth and slipped and fell. As she fell, she t it tipped over a bottle of bleach. She still cleans for the dentist, but some of the carpet is stained and is not green anymore. So my friend cleans for, what did it say? 
my friend cleans for. Remember, our answer is right here. A dentist. We'll highlight where we find our answers. What did she step on? So remember, if I go back, I can find the word stepped. She stepped on a tooth. So I can look and say, not a nail, not a bleach bottle, a tooth. Was the carpet stained after my friend fell? Yes or no? Yes, it was. It says, some of the carpet is stained. Good job. All right, so at the bottom you have some EA words that you can practice, and then you are all finished for the day. Great job, guys. Thank you.